If you look closely, you can see solar power energy more and more throughout the territory. And according to the VI Energy Office, there's been high demand for several types of solar services. Big projects going on. I'm, people in Charlotte, Amalia, could just be start looking on rooftops and see some uh, very major projects over there, the federal building, the tuna building, and houses after houses getting solar. So it's kind of ironic, but the rebates are gone, but the program has stimulated enough activity. We have more vendors than we've ever had before. You know, once the system's paid for, then your energy is free. And anyone who pays their WAPA bills knows how nice it'd be to have your energy free. The VI Energy Office says that it spent $4 million in ERA funds for its renewable energy rebate program. Additionally, it spent $2.3 million on its solar thermal revolving loan program that dealt with solar water heaters. The VI Energy Office has processed about 869 loan applications for its revolving loan program. And in about three months, they're hoping to do more. That's when they estimate to receive more funding for the program and help VI residents link up again to solar water heaters and help them save money on WAPA bills. As soon as the revolving loan money comes around, we will start up the whole process again. It might be under a little bit different uh, guidelines. We might not be able to do the rebate and the loan at the same time, but it will be something to, you know, be able to help residents. Allison Bourne-Vanak. News 2.